hello, and I welcome you to the passion of Islam and let it burn down the circle of earth with the Lord God's praise. I come to you from Windsor, Ontario, and I got my red uh, wings hat on. And it's time that we unfurl our wings because we are angels of the Lord. We are gods, Jesus said. He said, said in uh, John 10. And that's what he meant, angels in the flesh, the first, our last, the last, our first glory of his latter house, greater than that of the former. And it was foretold that great has been the um, expectation of the revelation of who is the sons and daughters of God. And it's time to un let down our manes. Christ the Lord is crying as a um, roaring lion of Zion, and he lifts up the praise of Islam as only the, that roaring lion of Zion can do. And he is the Messiah of Islam and the Messiah of Christianity. So I suggest that all people start praising him one and together, one because we're praising the same Lord. Whether you think he's divine or not, that's irrelevant. Praise the Lord God Almighty, who is Jehovah Nisi Yahweh, who is our Lord God of creation, our Lord of always, who is one uh, with Christ in love. And may the holy and most sacred and adorable and incomprehensible name of Allah be forever praised, for he is Elohim Adonai. He is our carpenter of the ages, and his tongue is the rod of his mouth, and when it comes down, it's the hammer of God, and it is razor sharp, able easily to slice a soul out of a spirit or a spirit out of a soul. So it's time to come forth and realize that he is the blessed, the beloved, the adored, and he is the glorified of heaven upon earth and under earth by all the creatures spoken into being by the word of God. And now it's the prophesied season for a tidal wave of the Lord's miraculous healing because he arises to destroy all the gross darkness of all the earth, Isaiah 60, uh, as, as he's opening the floodgates of heaven wide to pour out his most tender mercies upon all flesh. And we know by prophecy that our living Lord, uh, our Messiah, Emmanuel, God with us, the translation of his name, uh, will reveal God's compassion, even though we've all fallen far away from many of his holy ways. So know that our Lord God Almighty, he gives hope to the humble and light in the darkness and grace when we stumble. Therefore, let us call upon his name of love, for he is the resplendent, he is the shiny one. He is the adorable, the blessed, and he is our treasure of excellence, and it's time to go out into the deep. Who shall come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away? Christ the Lord asked. Uh, and it is his Elijah task servant, his latter-day Daniel. And the Lord is saying that he is the God of mercy who is in love and mercy endureth forever. Just as uh, Jonah 3 proves that God has relented and changed his mind, in the latter days the word of God says, and this shall be considered for the Lord God again is giving the words of Jeremiah 30, 24. And the word of God resounds gloriously because of his love going forth before him. And he says, I shall return my terrifying anger and stop the, the fast rising great tribulation if the people of the world will arise in the brotherhood of man that he prayed for in Gethsemane with the most passionate heart of hearts from the bottom thereof that is bottomless, I assure you. And the Lord God, through his most regal legal of the eon, who comes forth as his dove of love, he's ready to rip up everything with his talons that is not of love, all lovelessness. If my people of obedience who have their love moving as a, a ocean to that can uh, contain uh, the ocean of his adoration, if my people will pray and reach out to me with hearts joined in love, uh, all curses will be broken 
and uh, that is what he has promised. So come then and seek his face, the Lord says. Then heaven shall rain down oceans of his wonder, for the wind is full and the tide is with us. The wind of his blessedness comes from the tide of understanding. It is time for the wise to shine as the stars, for God's people have always been destroyed by lack of knowledge, Hosea 4, 6. So the Lord says, if my people of truth will press into his praises of Islam, born upon his whitest wings of his most passionate love, the people will arise and see that the heritage of the servants of the Lord has been that uh, of concerning the future of his sons and daughters and the work of his hands. He says, command ye me. We have a little authority, as Isaiah 45 foretold. And when I prayed that, I was writing by a lamp that was never plugged in for at least seven minutes. That was supernatural. This is the candlestick, the sign unto the nations. It's a broken, it's broken. Only way to turn it on is to turn the bulb. I haven't touched this bulb in four or five months. It Turn, turns on by itself every single day to bring glory unto he who put glory in all things glorious. And concerning the future of the Lord's faithful brethren and the work of our Father's hands, his nail-scarred hands, he proclaims that all believers of love, whether they believe that Jesus was divine or not, is irrelevant. Love, those who love are born of God and know God, because God is love. First John 4, 7, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten love, so whosoever would love should not perish, but have everlasting love, everlasting life. And Jesus, Isa Yeshua, is love personified, and he is returning. So lift up your holy hands unto him, for where two or more are gathered, there you are in the midst of them. And if my math is right, I'm one, and you're one, whoever's watching. So there you stand upon holy ground. And Mickey and Minnie are having a vigil because they're tired of a world of festering fears and festering fears. It's time to get rid of the fears and the tears by letting our perfect love cast it all fear away. For he is, is uh, he has no fear, beloved. And it's time that um, he says to all men gifted with divine trust, if you will turn that on. Therefore, a great flood of marble is now coming forth at, at the Lord's whispering command that I obey so that all believer of Allah's holiness may finally receive the answer to their most passionate prayers, the unity of love that is the Almighty, that is Elohim, Adonai, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, the risen good shepherd over all the flocks of man. And now shall great rivers of the Lord God's grace swiftly come forth as some mighty rapids of his most fervent adoration overflow upon absolutely everyone desiring to hear the voice, the velvety voice of the creator of all, the word of God who resounds as the exhilaration of joy and the excitement of happiness. And he is the merciful God of many second chances. Praise ye the Lord, all ye people. Know that uh, he stands upon his great white cloud of Matthew 24, right now, Revelation 14, right now, and he stands shining his most glorious, resplendent light of his highest honor, and it comes forth in the splendor of his magnificence, his beneficence, his love overflowing, pressed together, his, his benevolence and charity unto all of us, saying, the blessedness that is Eden is ahead of us if we will walk in love. For it is written that if we stand together as he proclaimed the Lord God at, at uh, Babylon, that there is absolutely nothing that mankind cannot do in unison standing in love together. And all day and all night shall many ears now be opened in anticipation, holy anticipation, of a second chances from he who is our holy administrator. And the weight of God's Shekinah glory shall overflow the blessedness of his adoration, which he's pouring out upon one and all people. I am the prophet messenger only of his love to the nations. And for his best promises all throughout the word of God shall now are now being manifested openly for all those who are welcoming, welcoming this manifestation of the vision that I gave unto Habakkuk declares the Lord God 
Habakkuk 2, King James. Read it for yourself. For these are the days of the glorification of the Lord God Almighty, and his glory shall cover the earth as waters cover the sea, as grass cover the lands, as sands cover the deserts, and as snow covers the, the clouds. I told the Lord, if I'm going to go and you want to take me home, let it be in the middle of my praise. For I praise <laughs> Muhammad. He was good. But I am Elijah. <laughs> no one on earth has ever praised the Lord, nor shall anyone ever praise the Lord like I am. Just watch the last 30 videos and you tell me, because it's all different. It's no repetition there, people. Blessed are those receiving the Islamic blessing from the Lord's released dove of peace that the Lord says, I shall now illuminate by that by my refiner's fire and the brilliancy of my holiness ablaze shall set free multitudes that have been holding fast unto untruths. So now let them embrace the holiest truth, the honesty, the living honesty as their pillow through his heaven sent knowledge sent to help all mankind to shine as the stars that we were most fearfully and wonderfully created to be. So sanctify this word of hope. It has been. And by the dove of love's greatest light, his most regal legal of the eons, comes forth to rip up everything not born of love, his sharpest talons, because the Lord God's tongue is the rod of his mouth, the hammer of God. And don't fall on the... Don't, don't uh, let the rock fall on you. Fall on the rock. Be open, be uh, obedient, be humbled by his mighty love that has been far deeper than ever imagined. And know that the dove's great light of love shall, by it all people of obedience shall now clearly see because the gross darkness that has covered all men is now broken finally asunder of Isaiah 60. And unto all passionate people shall I increase with them, and my fire shall blaze within them, and my joy shall render unto them multitudes of renewed hearts beating with prosperity of overflowing joyful happiness from within, for that is an inside job, and only those walking in the fullness of praise can enjoy such wonderful works of love. So, it's time to arise together and blessed be the name of love. And I am so proud to, uh, to be the bringer of such good news to all, both segments of uh, Islam. And, uh, but people have to know one thing that the first is last and the last is first. Otherwise, no one can understand Kingdom Age prophecy. And that is the absolute truth. And uh, so praise the Lord. And welcome to these praises of Shiites, the Shia Muslims. And so it's time to hearken unto the messenger that Muhammad foretold. I am the Lord's Logos messenger unto Shia Islamists. And their praises from their words, from Muhammad's words, are shining forth the, the passion of love that belongs to the hearts of all Islamics burning for love who is the Lord of all ways. And know that finally one has come that is brave enough to spread the needed word that the Lord God Almighty, Allah, Elohim, Adonai, our carpenter of the ages, our beloved, our blessed, our adored, he is the victorious one and the compeller of the faithful who lingers not at darkened wells of deceit. And let all good people of, of love now raise up their hands towards our returning Messiah, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus. I don't care what you call him, and neither does he. He is love, and those who love are born of God and know him because he is love. And by his Islamic dove of peace, 
All men will now be able to come to have the mind that our Lord God proudly speaks forth gospel truth unto everyone growing tired of ignorant lies spawned by the wicked, for there is no darkness but ignorance alone. So let all Jews and Christians and Islamics join hands together along with Baha'i and Hinduism and Buddhism and let all mankind raise up their hands high to exalt Allah's t name. He is, that is now his, it's no longer a title, not in this faith, this true faith of love. For the Lord God Almighty, the word of our Prince of Peace has sanctified the name, the name of Allah. And uh, now, is the uh, blood of the Lamb over all mankind? Yes, he was slain before the foundation. I am a Christian, but I am a Muslim, and I am a Buddhist, and I am a Hindu. And truth is truth wheresoever it is found. And I embrace truth from Satanism, if there's any truth. And I found a little bit there, too. So am I 1% Satanist? Maybe so. I got the dark side. <laughs> oh, dear. But I mislead no one. So let Jews and Christians...